think I'm close to another crime scene. Hey, Peter. Just letting you know I had him at the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say. You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean this scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Mm, typical day? Because it starts with waking up. Check on my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> This guy sounds like a Magia Enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Should be close. Whoever's setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it, then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay, then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. 
Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plate. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Whoever left these wanted me to look closer at these accidents. Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring me on? Uh... <laughs> Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. My boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Gotta be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident, but was it? In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. Is everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. Is that gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. And yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. There's a report and recorder. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. 
Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? I'm trying to. But... I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, maybe, though. Oh no! Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations! I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. There was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing the reading exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a liar? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Are you sure about all this? When we catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. I think I'm 
close to the last crime scene location. Attention, unit. Magia has seized two Sable APC. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? There's the case file. And the last recording. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are in me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Doc. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Why did I listen to that? Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. Sable and tell her to pick up Wait, what? Yuri, what did you do? The Magia Enforcer, dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri! I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time, but there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do. And I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! What am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much.